Hi guys, today we're going to start some fava bean seeds and some pots. Stay tuned! So this is really just going to be like I do most of my seeding, or really all of my seeding. These are six packs that I got recently because I bought about, overall about five uh, trays of five trays of these. And I got plenty of really as much as many seeds as I start. I still do buy some. Just for lack of time, space, energy. Um, just energy saver, time saver, everything saver. So I have some fava bean seeds too. These are purple fava beans I got from a friend. When I went up to the Airdom Expo a couple months ago. He lives up there. He lives up in Santa Rosa area. Um, and he gave me some purple fava beans. I have grown fava beans before. I grew them last year. I had a ton of them. I gave them away to friends. I, you know, and they made all kinds of stuff with them. Um, but these are purple. So of course, you know, I gotta grow them. I have grown, there is a purple variety from Baker Creek that I've grown before, um, something about Violetto, I will go ahead, Precoce Violetto, something like that, I will go ahead and link that in the description below if I remember. Um, I wasn't going to film this because I'm like, you know, people have already seen me do this and I really don't have a ton of time right now, but you know what? If I set up the camera on the tripod and just go on about it and kind of talk about it, then you know it shouldn't be too bad. If there are ever any ideas or any um, things that you want to see on the channel, let me know. Leave a comment. You can also reach out to me on Instagram under the same name, Green Zebra Gardening. And I also do have my email down below. So I have counted out the fava beans, I'm only going to do one per. So these do grow very quickly once they get going. Um, these I'll probably be transplanting out next weekend hopefully. We're supposed to get it some rain this week, uh, I think two or three days this week. Which for us out here is a huge deal. So I've been trying to plant out what I can this weekend, I didn't really film any of it except for this. Um, just because I wanted to get it done. That and the battery on this camera I've been using in the last few videos I've been using my full on DSLR my Canon T2i you know I mean I know it's like 10 years old but it's doing a very good job um, and it's sometimes just easier to edit on a PC or a laptop so but anyways so I'm breaking these down some clumps. I'm just using regular potting soil, G and B, um, the Eden Valley blend. Eden Valley blend. I could strain it um, or sift it or whatever, but you know what? This one's this one isn't as bad as some of the other ones I've seen. So it doesn't have a huge amount of like clumps or rocks or anything. So We're gonna grab the biggest ones. And I'm gonna have some extra ones in here. Some extra um, seeds that aren't gonna be exactly just like that. Oh, I think it's like four or five extra seeds. So in order to fill in, I'm gonna put in some Napa cabbages. I've never grown Napa cabbage from seed. I've never grown it at all, but we're gonna try it just to kind of fill in. And I wanted something that's not gonna obviously be similar. That we can tell them apart because I don't want to grow all beans in here and go, uh, what was I growing again? So, you know, we're just going to plant all of them. Some of those will overlap, and that's okay. I don't know honestly if there's a right way or a wrong way to put in seeds for beans, for fava beans. So, we're going to kind of mix it up. We're going to do them flat and we're going to do them the other way. I've read, I don't know if it's all seeds, but I've read that some seeds, if you don't put them in in bulbs, 
um, if you don't put them in correctly, they're fine. They'll turn on their own under under the soil. Hopefully the soil is loose enough for it to do that. If not, then you're just inviting trouble. <laughs> just make sure that your soil is soft, fluffy, loamy, whatever you want to call it. So we are putting these in. If these go well, these will be transplanting that out next week, probably. Um, I just didn't want to put them all in the ground over there. They're out there and, you know, something doesn't germinate, or I don't know if it's going to germinate or, you know, whatever. Oh, perfect. So we have six, so basically nine cells where these are going to go. And I have another tray right next to it. that we're going to go ahead and do. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do this one tray. Yeah, these are small seeds. There's not a ton in here. I honestly don't even know how much I paid for it. Because <laughs> I paid for the seed packet. So I bought a lot of stuff. I think the whole tour came out to like 50 bucks. I'm going to put in a couple seeds. Per cell. We're just gonna make a little indentation. These seeds are tiny. I mean, they're like your regular standard cabbage seeds. I don't know how well you can see that. These are small. So considering it's a cabbage and it's this many seeds, it's actually a decent pack. I'm gonna put in a few of those. Put in here. And that's it. We will see how those turn out. I'm going to put these over here in this bag where I had the beans. And so then these guys, those guys are good. So the beans themselves, I'm just going to cover them up. The soil isn't completely wet, but it's not completely dry. It's barely moist. So I'm just going to cover these guys up. And I know that these uh, fava beans are not going to have a problem coming up at all. I mean, fighting through the soil. I don't, whether or not the seeds are good, I don't know. I assume they are. to do the other tray but that's good enough for now I'm gonna go put these over in the put them over on the grass water them in and then put them over in the shade actually no put them over on the we'll let them, we'll let them uh, sit in the water or sit on the grass Alright guys, that's it. We're going to go ahead and leave them out there. I'll probably check on them a couple times this week, but because like I said, I don't, I don't know if I said earlier or not, it's supposed to rain once on Wednesday and Thursday this week. Um, 
I'm not sure how it's gonna do or how much rain we're supposed to get. I probably should check that. Um, but I'll check on them. It's supposed to be, I think, somewhere in the 90s today. Uh, low to be 90s. Uh, but tomorrow, starting tomorrow and from then on, it's supposed to cool back down. Or it's supposed to cool down or not back down. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go to Waterman. Um, maybe in a couple days, depending on how it is. But at that point, the rain should take over. Again, I'm gonna check the weather. Um, that's it. Catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to click the notification bell icon don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment let me know how you guys start seeds i know this isn't very um normal like i guess is what you would call it um most people just plant the beans directly in the ground um and i probably should but again i'm not sure how well they're going to germinate and i got a lot of mulch out there and whatnot and so i don't know how they're going to do um so I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. Whatever comes up, I'll go ahead and plant out next weekend, probably. Hopefully it's not unbearably hot or unbearably cold, you know, and I can do it. But okay, now I'm signing out. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.